Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Right Bumper with your host, Subdub Pirate, taking you through some insane walkthroughs of Gears of War Judgment. Today, we're going to be looking at Windward Way, trying to get all three stars, which will complete the Declassified and hopefully net you an achievement in the end. So, as you start off here, you're going to run into the Declassified right away here. It's right on the back of this overturned car here, so let's check it out. Oh man, they've got some crazy thinking. So what we're going to do is a few key things here to not die. Basically the first thing you're going to do is get that. You're going to see this house getting some mortar action and all that goodness going on. I have a few grubs pop up right here. Toss a little grenade, that'll take care of a lot of them. and. Uh, yeah, just mow these guys down. This first wave is nothing. You've gotten this far, you'll be able to handle it. So you clear that out, and you're going to be treated to a little cutscene here, where uh, this house is getting swarmed by these bombers in the sky, and it's up to you to take them out, as only you could do. So you're going to make your way over to the right here. There's going to be a few spike traps on the ground, and uh, you'll have to chainsaw this very obvious target so just, there we go and then you'll net yourself your first checkpoint for this level let me tell you this level's a doozy though so once you get over this, this is where the real action begins you can see that there's plenty of mortars on this level and later they become a huge issue but we're going to show you how to take them out quickly so once the cutscene ends you're going to get all these grubs to jump right out at you as you can see, chainsawing them down will help net you a few extra points towards those three stars. Be very careful not to get yourself blown up while chainsawing. But the great thing about this though is if you have a mark set for this level, it will be so helpful later. And you'll see why. But right now, we're just going to have a few more of our uh, traditional locusts coming at you. Try your best to get ribbons, maybe headshots really what I'm going for right here. And as you notice, I keep looking back during this section. The reason being is that once you activate that first wave up ahead, there's going to be a few that will also pop up behind you too. And there's nothing like getting pincered. So once you see these guys pop up, quickly would take them out from behind. So there's only a few of them, which is pretty nice. And after you take out those guys, that's mostly it for this wave right here too. So you're going to go on and then hopefully net yourself the next checkpoint right here. So once you get this checkpoint, you're going to have a few of those blood mounds come busting through the walls. If you have any grenades, feel free to use them liberally right here. Maybe stick a few of them and take them out. Once you take out that, you'll be able to hop over that downed barrier and advance in this next area. The quick and easy way to not die in this section is to have someone activate this mortar guy that you'll see here in a second. And once you do, you'll just be able to take him out right away. I cannot tell you how many times I died because I simply did not do this small step right off the bat. So once you take out that guy, avoid his one mortar shot that he'll probably get off, and you'll be free to take out the rest of these guys. Right now our bots are taking down the enemies as we speak, so we're just going to hang back here and assist them. There's no reason to rush in there, because those bots can they can take a beating, and you're fine. Especially if you're playing this by yourself, you're going to have three bots to do your dirty work for you. So continue on here where you will dispatch the rest of these enemies in this section. Once you are successful in here, you will be at the end of the level. So continue on friends, you will soon be done with this. Hanging back behind this barrier is a great idea. The best thing about this is you have plenty of time to take down any blood mounds that come at you from afar, as well as let your bots run in and soak up all the damage. Maybe even just use your lancer or hammer burst freely. Anything you can use to get some range on these guys from back here is no doubt the best. The blood mounds will be your biggest problem during this section too. Those guys can be vicious if they get up close, so do not let them. But continue to dispatch the rest of these area baddies, and once you do, 
get into this next section. There's plenty of ammo left over from the battle, and as you can hear, there is already people spawning behind us. So what we decided to do was rush forward here to this area. We have a little bit more protection and hopefully be able to take these guys out without even taking much damage yourself. Up here, as you notice, there is a mortar with one shot left in it. It may be helpful to actually save it, unlike what I just did where I just shoot it off right away. Because what we didn't know was in a few sections here, you're going to see that some blood mounts are going to pop up. And I go to pick up these extra frag grenades too. But just be very liberal with whatever you have left here because nothing would be worse than having to redo this entire section after getting thus far. Believe me, it did happen quite a bit. This section was full of deaths and this edited video would probably not portray how much I actually died in here. So just mow these guys down from up top and you'll complete this section. As always, thanks for watching guys, and if there's any other videos or achievements you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments. Have a great day, and look forward to more videos from us.